Good afternoon, everybody. Version 8.2 saw some major improvements in the AliCAD 3D graphics engine using state of the art technologies. We could therefore add some new visualization tools to our render view. I will be showing you some of these functionality that will be um, released with the version 8.2 in October. This is Table Mountain. Uh, you guys should be familiar with this. This comes with the program. It contains about 55,000 DTM points. So if we go to Render View, in addition to... This is the normal plane shading that you guys will be familiar with. So we're shading the faces from the DTM model. Just square it up a little bit. And I'll show you some of the terrain settings. This is settings that control how the DTM is rendered. Um, the additional option we have there is natural simulation. Here we can have you can have a few preset settings like um, contour that'll just draw um, contours, and then the height map. You'll see the darker red is higher and the green is lower, and then the snow top option, which is the default setting, it gives you a little bit of a more realistic view. You can also play with the slope contrast, as you can see. It makes a difference as to how it appears. Then the environment settings over there, that, that controls the background, um, rendering the background. So we have a few preset options there. That uh, is the dawn option and then also the ground plane which you can set. You can set it to a rough ocean for example that that'll, there's a sunny option. And then I'll just show you a few presets. Cloudy, sunset, and then night. See, it looks a lot more realistic. But I must say I prefer the sunny one. But in addition to that, you can also um, play with the colors. You can customize it. So you can switch on the sky box and then set the sky color. That's the color at uh, which the sky will appear, and then the haze is between the, uh, the horizon and the sky. You can set that color as well, as well as the ground color. This all controls how light is reflected from your from your model, and then you can set the, the width of the of the haze and and the sky and all that. If you if you want to tweak the values, otherwise just use this the preset values that Soil Designer is um, installed with. So we can zoom in a little bit. I'm just changing the view slightly. You can see how it, how it renders. You can see the, the water is animated so it changes all the time. Now at, at the bottom here there are a few slots and if you click on one of them it stores that view so that you can um, refer back to them just by right clicking and clicking on them um, that's also preset views this is quite handy and it gets saved with the program uh, with the pro uh, with the drawing so i'm just gonna go to the valbedag job that uh, andrew's been working on earlier go to the render view i'll be showing you some of the fly through controls that we've added this is also about 55,000 point dtm and that road is about four and a half kilometers so right clicking you can simply right click on any entity and go fly through and there the fly through starts and then you can interact with it by clicking there to go up and down left or right and then use your wheel mouse to, to speed up or slow down i want to slow down here at this intersection you can slow down to a complete stop and then as we did earlier save that view so we can come back to it now speeding up again and this is good for verif verification i can i can see where there's problems with the triangulation some artifacts in the in the gabions so you can see our fly through is quite smooth with that um, natural simulation of the dtm as well so on this bridge i want to slow down and take another snapshot or save it to a, to, a, to a different view, to view number eight. All right, let's go, let's carry on.
Okay, at this point I want to show you that you can actually go backwards and then you can you can loose your camera from the fly path and as I do now I just swing it all around. Now I control the camera with my mouse. So the camera points where my cursor is. So if I go around this corner, you can see it's a bit jaggedy because I'm actually controlling the camera uh, the camera direction with my mouse. It's not tied to the fly path now. Which is quite nice. I can look around as I'll show you later on. Just want to get back to that intersection. And now I can view the road in, in reverse as well. You can see you can see that I'm battling to, to uh make it go smooth because it's following my my cursor. You see that the sky the sky um adds a lot to the to the visual appeal of this um of this model. It looks a lot more realistic. Right, let's go around this corner. Okay, there's the intersection coming up. So I'm gonna slow down. Slow down. Forward, sorry. Forward. There we go. And I'm going to stop again and then turn around. So we look to looking back at the intersection. Now at this point, I simply right click here and say fly through. And it'll fly through on the next road. So you don't have to go back, select, right click, fly through again and select another road. You can simply from where you were, just select another road and, and continue. I want to get on top of this hill um, because there's some um, some nice views which I want to save in my in my saved views. So this is almost like taking photo photos along your along your road. So when you save it, it saves these views with the drawing. So you can very easily go back and look at them uh, when you change your data. Remember, all this is live from the data. It's not done by a separate program. So if your data changes, these re these render images will change. Saving this to, to slot number six. And I'm okay, making it loose. So I'm changing the view. And let's take a picture of the gabions there. I can see I've got problems with the gabions over there, which I need to go and fix. Okay, so there, there I can go back to the to the different views, the, basically the photographs that I took. Or you have a little preview on the right right click. And I quit render view. Okay, let's quit it. And now this is a new drawing. Um, I'm going to go to render view and then add 3MX data. Now 3MX is context cap capture 3D multi resolution mesh exchange data. This is a the this allows production of a high resolution 3D models from single photographs or point clouds. And it and, it, and it's a it's a mesh a 3D mesh. We are currently working with a company called AAM Geometrics, who offers a wide range of spatial information technologies to make this type type of data available to you. In Civil Designer, we will start by simply loading and rendering this data in the render view. We use a multi-threaded loading and rendering strategy with level of detail support. We will then develop this further in, in, in future to, so that you can also interact with this model, with the, with the mesh model. Okay, I want to also show you another feature. I'm just going to get to a spot where we can show that. There, that circle. If I right click, I can just go circle around and that will automatically do a, like a circular fly through, fly path pointing at the uh, position where you pointed your cursor, which is which is quite neat. 
I'm just going to zoom into that excavation there to show you um, what type of detail you can get. Okay, I want to just um, open this Cape Flats um, project to show you how it all comes together. This project is a DTM of Cape Flats and I also have mesh data associated with this, pro with this um, project. Okay, so if I go to go to render view Okay, you can see there's my mesh data. This is quite a large area. And the accuracy of the survey is not as great as it was on the on the um, Cape Town CBD job. Yeah, I'm circling around. So there's currently this traffic circle. And we want to um, upgrade this, for example. So if I quit the render view, I've designed some, some roads, like a little interchange just to show you how it interacts with the roads module um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use transparent shading so that you can see the um, the overlay of the roads and the mesh data so there's a little interchange I designed I think it took me about two hours uh, if I go now to render view you can see you can see the roads design there and it's transparent so it overlays over the mesh so again, I can right click on here and say, fly along the road, render view, uh, yeah, fly through. And there you can see the road overlaid on the mesh data. Those humps, those are probably cars that was measured. So when I slow down, when, it, when I get to that interchange now, there we go, let's slow down a bit. There, so there's my, my off ramp through the bridge. Um, now I want to turn around again. So let's go through it. There, and I can right click and say circle around just to give you a little aerial view of the of the proposed design. 3D visualization in Civil Designer is totally integrated. It all happens inside Civil Designer and it renders your live data. I hope that this new functionality we are releasing in 8.2 will go some way to make visualization in Civil Designer even easier to use and more powerful. Thank you.